View Vintage back on YouTube with another collection video of 85 Jordans. I'll be going over all these beautiful shoes right in front of you, right here, right now. Starting it off with these beautiful 1985 Air Jordan breads, the black and red. This is the first pair of 85 Jordans that I actually purchased. Uh, I'm gonna tell like a little story about each each of these shoes, I guess. This is the first, this is a, uh, I forgot what year this was, maybe 17, probably I'd say 2017, 2018. Um, I purchased these for $400, maybe it was like 380. I thought I paid a lot of money for these. But on today's market, these are crazy. But uh, I kind of, uh, I never put these on my feet yet because um, it's a little, bit, a little bit of a personal story. But I promised myself when I got these in, because it was such a big purchase, that I was going to wear these uh, when I sold out Allstate Arena here in uh, Chicago, Illinois. I play music, by the way. I don't really play music too vocally or talk about it too much on this channel. But I do make music, and I told myself... Uh, kind of as a joke, but I took it uh, to heart, I guess, that I was going to wear these on stage at a sold-out arena. Will that ever happen? I don't know, but these will uh, always be there to haunt me if I don't end up doing that. So I will never sell these, and hopefully one day I do get to wear these. It would be cool. All right, let's put them back as nicely as I could. Yeah, uh, hopefully I do get to wear those, though. Next up, we have 1985 Royals, probably my favorite color of the Air Jordans. These are absolutely beautiful. Look at those laces. Look at those soles. No cracking. An absolute gem. I was searching for this particular shoe with these... Uh, blue laces for the longest longest time and i finally got a pair that's wearable and my size and oops and purple laced up i went through i think three of these with cracked soles or dried out soles and just it was a nightmare but this is a pair with actual soft soles and i am blessed to own these uh Again, another pair that I don't think I will ever be able to let go. Just because it took so long to get. And um, actually, funny story. I camped out with my friend Alex, uh, just for memories. Uh, for the 2017 version of this shoe, I told myself it was going to be the only shoe I was going to ever wear for ever. <laughs> and I ended up wearing it every single day, probably for a year. Uh, it's in one of those bins. It's absolutely trashed, but I love that royal shoe, and I don't know what it, it what, what it was about this particular color of the shoe, but uh, shout out to Alex for waiting with me at Foot Action. For the 2017 version of this shoe, I had to get the 85 one in my size, and I didn't want the one with the black laces. It had to be these faded out purple ones because they are just absolutely spectacular. Next up, we have a pair of Chicago's. This is, oops, we gotta, hopefully that didn't cut the video, but this is my favorite pair of Chicago's that I own. I've went through so many of these, probably like five or six pairs of these that I just wore and then cracked, and it's just, uh, I just didn't know what I was doing at the time. I finally found a pair that's soft on the soles. So this is a wearable pair. This is like the one that Michael wore the most. Uh, absolute beautiful shoe. Let's get a picture of that sole. There's no star loss, but the soles are really soft. I love this. Like just this shoe, just like. Just let that sit for a second. Like the, the wear of the leather on this. It's just incredible. And these are uh, replacement laces I got from the Travis uh, Jordan 1s. 
Um, it was like the tan, like the faded, faded color ones because I wanted white laces, but I couldn't find white laces, so I just had to use like the crystal white laces. Just look kind of goofy. So uh, I found those faded ones, and they look really good with the with the way that that sits together. Um, I have another pair of Chicago's. These are a little bit more funkier. They got the double laces, and I just think that that look is so cool. Like it's such a such a unique way of rocking these shoes. Like you can put this shoe next to this other Chicago. And it's just like the same shoe, but so different. It's just, uh, this is from a different factory than this one. This is the TY, I think. Yeah, TY1. So this shape is a little bit better, but damn, like, it's just a, it's like same shoe, different vibe. And yes, my, my sweatshirt is super distressed and you might see my legs and my shoes. So just point that out. Um, but yeah. Absolute beauty. So cool. And I was picking these up for, um, I think I paid 250 for these. Back before the hype. Those prices are just unrealistic today. Sadly, I would love to be buying more of these. But I got my fair share of them. And I still buy them whenever I get a chance to, if I find something that I need. Like, my most recent pair was this one. I paid way more than I wanted to, but I had to get them. This is a pair of AJKO's, um, Air Jordan Knockout, Knockoffs, Korea. Not really sure what it is. I don't think anyone really knows what it is, but I do know what it might be. These are Canvas Chicago ones from 1985. I can take the tissue paper out, but just believe me, they're from 85. Beautiful yellowing to them. Really unique pair of shoes, like, compared to the leather leather Jordan ones. These are just, again, a totally different vibe. Same shoe, but not the same shoe. It's just so unique. Um, a lot of people have the leather ones, but you don't really see too many people ever showing these. So, show the AJKO some love. They need it. Ooh, that's cracked. Little tip right there. Never really noticed it. Oh, and these eyelids, I noticed today too when I was shooting. They're like painted on. Isn't that incredible? Man. Such a great shoe. Not sure how long this video is going to end up being. But here is the next pair of metallic blues the wear oh my god none of my shoes are really that clean um mainly because the price point is a lot cheaper when you get them kind of kind of fucked up like this but like you know people like the dead stock look but as you can tell by my sweater i like the kind of the the messy look and this pair is messy um, I purchased these off of eBay. Um, I was sitting on my girlfriend's uh, toilet at her place. I sniped these for $78. I'll put a screenshot on the screen if I can find it of the purchase of these. Look at that sketch on that. Korea 1985. I, I believe these are the most common pair of metallic i mean of the metallic series you can find uh the collar on this is like completely shot but most common color for the metallic series beautiful wear soft soles i mean i was wearing these to the bins like on a daily basis these were like my bin shoes hopping in the bins these shoes were in the bins and these are the same color yellow and white this was white at 1.2 but here we have the newly retroed well this is the original version of the newest retro of the uh, 1985 natural neutral gray and jordan ones these are absolutely crazy um the most recent pair of jordans that i purchased i believe i paid 
$1,600 for these, if I'm not mistaken. Um, seven and a half. Um, just, I always loved, I'm really into this minimalistic look right now, which is like white sneakers. So like these, these just hit differently than any of these other Jordans, even though, even though they're like the most basic and the ones that were pretty much the NB made for the NBA, you know, Jordan went out rocking all the funky colors, but these were like what most people were wearing back in the eighties, um, playing, playing ball, just white and gray sneakers. Um, maybe like some metallic color like that, but nothing too crazy. Like Reds or Royals or Chicago's, you know, here's a pair that I'm not too familiar with. It's a, I believe they're called big Nikes. They look just like these, uh, these, uh, 85s right here like when i was setting these up i accidentally put the left shoe with the right shoe with that and the i just swapped them because they look excuse me they just look so similar so if you're looking for a cheaper or cheaper alternative to the 85s i highly highly recommend these because these are just so cool and no one's got these i've never seen anyone post these shoes Big Nikes. I see them pop up online all the time. Grab them while you can because they are really cool. You know, and they're so much cheaper. You don't have to get like the... You're pretty much paying for this little Wings logo right here. You know, if you're not crazy about the Wings logo, you can get something like this for a fraction of the price and, and really get that same kind of vintage -y look, which is really great. Oh, hopefully my camera doesn't die. Here we have a pair of 1984 airships. This is uh, what actually got banned from the NBA, not the not the banned ones. But this shoe in the band colorway was what Michael Jordan was first wearing. Um, just a uh, white and gray, like so simple. You know, like these three shoes are just so simple and just like so generic and pretty much what everyone was supposed to be wearing at the time. And then Jordan came out with all those funky colors. Nike really took a chance at those. And they're just history, you know? This is like the precursor to the history being made. Like the the safe ones, as I like to call them. But very beautiful shoe. Um, I had a pair of... Uh, sorry about the noise, by the way. I had a pair of these, which is metallic purple, that I just recently sold. Um carrying on our last pair well actually second to last i'll show a secret uh bonus pair right afterwards after these these are 1985 i think they're the saint john dunks they're kind of like chicago's almost the same colorway color blocking 1985 dunks the dunk hype is real right now these shoes are just so cool um, i'm not sure if nike's gonna give these a retro this year or if they already have, I don't think they have yet. Um, I actually forgot I had these. I just, when I was looking through the bins, I noticed that I had these and I was like, oh, damn. I got to pull these out for the video too. Really cool pair. I got them super early on. Paid maybe 200 bucks for those. And I have one more pair for you guys. Um, it's actually a fake pair of uh, Jordans. Jordan Shadows. I was uh, sitting on the beach in uh, California and I was uh, just scrolling through eBay looking at new listings that were posted and I saw these shadow ones but the sun was in my eyes so I didn't really get a good look at the pictures of them so I kind of just sniped them because they were $1,100 and I thought that was a really good deal for look how clean these are for a pair of uh, I just looked at the stars I was like wow that's clean stars you know, I saw a little bit of fading on the lace. I was like, cool, I'm going to grab these shadows. And they came from Europe somewhere. I think it was Germany. And when I opened the box, I was like, what in the world did I purchase? Because these are just so off. I had to message a few more people because I just couldn't believe that. I mean, just look at the logo placement of that, you know. And just the color of this is just so weird. I believe these are just like replicas that they made in the 80s. 
So they're not official Nike shoes. I don't think so. Like the tongue is so short. Like look at the tongue on that. Oh, it's so raised up. And the shape is just so weird. Ugh. I was so bummed when I found out that these were not real because I was so excited to get Royals. But you know, you live and you learn and you take L sometimes. But yeah, I didn't really put them in the shot of this because they're not really Jordans, you know, they're just knockoffs, but uh, not comfortable at all. Like these weren't made to be worn. They're just copies. Like when you put them on your feet, they just don't feel good. They're not for sale. You know, they're not really part of the collection. They're just, but they are at the same time. It's like one of those things, but I um, hope you enjoyed the little look of the collection of 85 and 1984 airships. Uh, these are some of my favorite uh, shoes that I have and I love collecting these. They are such, every single one of them is just a unique uh, piece to any, any style of fits because they're just like, you can't replicate this look, you know? It's just like, You put these on and you're the only person who's got these, who's wearing these, you know? It's just so, I just love that about Jordans and I mean like original Jordans because they're just so unique to everybody who wears them and the way you style them. Like I can wear these with like green pants or like actually Chicago's with green pants, smack, try it out. Uh, look at photos. Anyway, um, actually it was breads, my bad. Green pants and breads, that's a fire look. Anyway, thank you all so much for checking out this video. It's kind of like laid back. Just thought I'd talk about some shoes that I have. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I don't know much, but I don't know everything, but I do know a little bit. So uh, let's have a conversation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe, hit the like button. Maybe leave a comment of what your favorite colorway is. And... Uh, thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video whenever that is. Peace.